Hello and welcome back to Roleplay Sagas of the Icelanders, week number four, going into our number three here? Is that what it is? Yeah. Something like that. Our number three and a half. Um, so we've just seen Rovik get skewered through the stomach by scum. He draws his blade out, throws it down into the ground, cheers. His friends and allies are all cheering along the side. Um, you know, like there's there's a big commotion, a big hubbub. The uh, the Gothar Steinar, he's he's trying to calm everybody down and and proclaiming that this is the gods' will and that the Norns have decreed that today is the day that Rovik dies. Um, Eamon, what's your reaction to this? How do you feel when you see your comrade get struck down in the middle of this duel? I'm like heartbroken. Mm. But I guess, I mean, I'm going to be like cheering him on, you know, either way. Cheering, cheering on scum? No, um, Rovic. Okay, got it. Um, yeah, he's, Rovic is bleeding profusely. Um, Hilda, what are you up to at the moment? Um... I would like to use true heart. Whoa. What? When you put yourself that... between someone in grave harm, roll plus young. I would also like to note that I have plus two young, plus I'd like to use my two, uh, they need my help with Rovic. Hang on, let me, I need Wait, to what? read the rule for this. <laughs> I have an ability called true heart. Are you, you running yourself... into the battle? Yeah, and I'm going to uh, attack scum. Holy shit, dude. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Well, so so hang on, true heart. Well, if I see that happen, then I'm definitely going to run in as between well. Between someone and grave harm, roll plus young. So the, the problem here is that um, the grave harm has already happened. Great. So you can't put yourself in between them. Well. Fine, I'd like to attack him and use my plus two with Rovic in order Where? to kill uh, Scum. No, we so, sacrificed, damn it! Damn it, Hilda! Sorry, so you're, I do what I want. Your plus two with Rovic is something that you can only use to help Rovic. You can't Great, use I'm it. helping him right now. You can't by... use it for yourself. F God damn it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> fine, but, uh, I don't use any... Fine, fine, I don't use any of that shit. I attack Rovic. How yes, about that, Steven? That, that sounds good. So you just, like, <laughs> run out onto the pitch, your you're sword attacking? high... I'm sorry. Yeah, and I, uh, no, I shield first, uh, because he threw down his sword, if I remember correctly, and yep, I bash totally. into, uh, Scum's back, because yeah. he's oh. totally weaponless. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, awesome. Do You don't have any, like, combat moves from your, your shield maiden thing, do you? There's literally nothing, there's nothing listed here, except, like, it doesn't, it literally gives me no options for combat on this list that I'm looking at. Yeah. I mean, you got you got true heart, and then one other thing. What did you take? Rebellious. When you do Rebellious. something that challenges right. yeah, the establishment, course, right. roll plus young. Uh, yeah, that's that. fantastic. Damn. Fucking rebel. Um, he's he's distracted. He's turned the other way. You run forwards. Um, do you just stab him? Uh, no. I want to knock him on the ground so I can so I can slit his throat. Okay. Yeah. You you run up and you you slam yourself into the back of him, and he goes flying. The crowd just gasps. Um, uh, you hear, you hear Vibjorn call out from the sidelines. He says, foul, foul, and he comes running in your direction. What do you do? Um. Wait, Vibjorn is my other, was that my Vibjorn other Vibjorn is also one of my guys. Oh, you, yeah. your, your guy, right, right, right. Yeah. Um, I, uh, Shoot. where am I at in relationship to scum? You're you're right on top of him. You just body slammed him to the ground. Um I as I turn to uh face B the Vibjorn, mm -hmm. I uh, as I'm turning, I slash across Scum's stomach as deep as I can. Yeah. And okay. I turn to face him with like a blood dripping sword like let's go motherfucker. Nice. Okay, yeah, like you you just drag your sword through Scum's entrails, cutting him from side to side, just guts spill straight out of him. Blah! Um, he howls his agony to the skies as he lies there on the ground, his blood spilling onto this, this uh, cloth on the ground. Um, 
Yeah, uh, the Bjorn looks at this in horror, and as he's running towards you, he stoops down and he grabs up one of the remaining shields from Scum's side, and he he draws his own weapon and he comes charging towards you. Um, would you roll plus young? Yeah, sure. Can I impact these situations? R D. Um, Seath Kona, you have. You're a spellweaver, right? You can totally impact these situations. I can give Hilda so wait, minus is scum two bonds. Dead? You don't have two um, bonds with me. You used all your bonds when we were climbing that damn rock. Get out of here. We were no, climbing that fucking I gained rock a bond. and you tried to kill me. Get out of here, bitch. Get out of here. You <laughs> since used that all moment, your bonds on me. You since used that all moment, your bonds I hold on me. a bond with Bullshit. you because Bullshit. you have wronged me. And at the start of this everything... I gain a bond in that nope. situation, so I have two Not bonds with you now. Bond. This is <laughs> this is what <laughs> this is what rules lawyering looks like in a narrative game, and it's awesome. Get out of town! You wasted everything you had trying to knock me off that damn thing. No, nope, it's I true. Got, plus, uh, I got a bond with you, and I got a bond with the gods. I summon the gods to smite your ass <laughs> down of a heart attack, of a fucking heart attack. You fall like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm old, and you die, <laughs> and you die because you're so old and useless. Mm. Get out. So, anyway, Ingebjorg, you do is... have two bonds with <laughs> uh, with Hilda. Yeah. Is Eamon, Do you have any bonds with Hilda? Um, I do. I believe I do. The answer is one. definitely yes. yes. Yeah. Do you okay. want to spend your bond in order to help Hilda? Um, I not only want to help Hilda, but now that like chaos is ensuing and yeah. like everyone's distracted, <laughs> she just goes down, shit. scumps like down Do the ground. Shit. Hilda's my homie, friggin' Ravik's my buddy. Like sh we already fucked this over, so I'm going to go berserker mode, rush in. I'm gonna be like yelling and screaming oh and howling yes. and just making like ridiculous noises. I. I run past um, Ravik, grab my my weapon, and grab the last shield. I think, or is there two more shields left? There's just, I think there's two. Uh, One there's, of the shields that's up there. Yeah. And I just shit run is kicking forward. off. Okay, awesome. Um, so you are going berserk. Um, what does that do for you when you use your berserker? Um, when you charge the enemy with regard with. Without regard Without for regard. personal safety, yelling and howling, um, roll plus young on a 10 plus, they all back the hell away and endure grave harm. On a 7 and 9, the same, but only if you choose to press forward and endure harm yourself. Awesome. Okay, so there's there's like factions breaking out at this sacrifice. There's the Rovic faction and the Scum faction. So Eamon has obviously come out on Rovic's side. First, we need to find out what happens with uh, with... Hilda, so Hilda, you feel like powerful uh, manipulations of magical energy wrap your arms in torpor. Um, would you roll? Uh, what was it that you were doing? You I were was, you was, were rolling was, plus young to yeah. to accept a physical challenge. Okay, um, yeah. So go ahead and do that at a, a minus two. And Eamon, you are helping Hilda, right? Yes. So it's, it's actually a only one. a minus one for you, uh, Hilda. Right. I, have a, I have a plus two, so that's plus one in the end. Yep, plus one total. So you roll that. You sons of bitch. Dice, I need you now more than ever. If you do not help me, <laughs> fuck you. We could literally just <laughs> lose every character here. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we so we could all just Hilda, die. Hilda, you go, you, you just gut scum, and then you see the Bjorn come charging forward saying, no, um, and you try to, like, uh, this is gruesome. You try to to bring your sword up to intercept his blow, um, and your sword gets stuck in his guts, in Scum's guts, and it's just a little bit too slow before it finally cuts its way free of his intestines. And uh, the Bjorn brings his sword down straight on your shoulder, just cutting straight into you. Um, fire sears across your side. Would you roll plus young to endure grave harm? Oh, shit. Yeah. Please don't. Oh, shit. Okay, Hilda, you can choose two. It will get better on its own. It doesn't leave a permanent mark or it gives you purpose. Uh, I pick the first two. So it will get better on its own and mm -hmm. it doesn't leave a permanent mark, but yes. it doesn't give you purpose. Okay. I don't need purpose. So, I but Bjorn, 
Vibjorn comes up and cuts into you. Um, battles raging around you. You're down. Like you are not able to continue fighting in this fight. Okay. But you're not gonna die. He just he just broke your collarbone, cut into so your chest. Is Hilda like on the ground, really close to Ravik now? Mm-hmm. Oh God. <laughs> so Ravik is just gonna have a look of pure dread on his face, like his last. Like, he's breathing and gasping his last. There's blood spurting out of his mouth. And he's just looking at the chaos ensuing around him. And he's just feeling like, like, man, like, he's going to die the way the gods wanted him to. And even now, like, he can't, there's no way he can ensure, like, everybody else is going to be okay. This is, like, the last thing he wanted. So he's just going to have this look of utter doom on his face. Yeah. Okay. Um, Eamon, you are running forwards, yelling and screaming, berserking, so make your berserker <laughs> roll. Right, That's plus Yes. Fucking tragic. Oh, shit. Okay, Seven. so I still get it. What does it do for you now? It's the it's... same, but, I, but only if I choose to press forward and endure harm myself. Right. So I'm going to do it and endure harm myself as well. <laughs> yeah, everybody's just going to be terribly damaged. Except Ingebjorg. So, yeah, um... <laughs> they will. I, <laughs> 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 I like that. So, you you press forwards. You're putting yourself in harm's way. There's like two or three of them running running out to like come to Scum's aid now. Um, it's it's like Vibjorn and maybe like one of the other guys who goes Viking with you and Scum, and they're not entirely sure what? which of you. He would yeah. choose. Okay, I was like, he would but, choose not to fight on my side. But Scum is like he's he's one of these guys' friends too, right? So that guy is like a little bit. It, it's Carl, actually. It's it's Carl, Carl, Carl and he's, Carl, he's hesitating. He doesn't he doesn't know if he's going to be fighting Carl, you or God, or what. <laughs> um, so uh, roll to endure grave harm, plus young. It's the same roll, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay. So you only get to pick one. It will either get better on its own, or it doesn't leave a permanent mark, or it gives you purpose. Um. It'll get better on its own. Oh, wait. Hang on. Um, I'm not enduring grave harm. It's no, no, no. Because, was. yeah, sorry. So you rolled a seven on your uh, on your physical challenge, right? Oh, no, no, no. Yep, sorry. On my berserker. Yes, you rolled a seven on your berserker, which means that you do endure grave harm. Because okay. that's that's the rule. It reads, uh, okay. on a ten endure plus, that all back the hell away. Harm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, all harm is grave, basically. Okay. Because um, it's 1100 Iceland. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yes, uh, pick one of those options. All right. I told you which one. Which one? Sorry, I missed it. It'll get better on its own. Okay. So, you need to take a scar. Which one of those will you choose? Crippled, addled, changed, or doomed? Wait, what? Do you see just below when you endure? Yeah, but I'm wondering why I'm taking, why I'm getting a scar. Because you didn't choose the option. It doesn't leave a permanent mark. Otherwise, take a scar. Oh. Yeah. So it, it's getting better on its own, but it's leaving you with a scar. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. One where you need help, I, so your wife can take care of you. Don't want. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks because I, I didn't know that choose, that was going to choose not to have a scar, Maggie. So well, yeah, you that's can, what I. You I can make the choice again. That. that seems really terrible. So, what's it going to be? Yeah, I would not want it to leave a permanent mark. Okay, so you choose it doesn't leave a permanent mark. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um. I don't want to take negative effects to my stats. That seems not good. The alternate <laughs> option is you might die. Like, <laughs> okay, so um, you catch a sword in the ribs when you're you're charging forwards and you're berserking, um, and like, which do you want? Do you want these people to back the hell away, or do you want these people to endure grave harm? I want them to all endure grave harm. Good okay. job. Good choice. You, you just like start <laughs> laying about you left and right with your sword. So who's dying? Coral's dying. The Bjorn is dying. Um, Damn. And is there anybody else who'd be dying? Let me cross off the names on my list here. <laughs> that's that's all this is about. That's all. 
<laughs> yeah, clearing off some names. It's it's just it's just Vibjorn and 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 Coral. They both they both die. Oh, oh. don't didn't you have a Coal as well? In your Viking group. Coal, Coal was not mine. Coral was my Coral was mine. Yeah. Coral. 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 Uh, yeah, you had, Scum you was had part of my Vlad, crew. Basically, Vlad, it's Vlad. Scum and Coral. But I feel like that sucks. No, you you keep Vlad. <laughs> Scum's dead. He's part of my crew too. Yep. Yep. Okay, so um, yeah, you just start laying waste around you, howling your your fury to the sky. When everybody around you, when everybody within sword's reach is dead, you, like the 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 battle fury clears from your eyes, and you, right, you like look whole, down, you know, trying to calm down. Yeah, you look down, and your left lung is just a ragged mass of ruined flesh. Someone cut into your side. Uh, and you collapse to your knees, realizing how badly you've been wounded. Um, so now, what? down on That's the ground, horrifying. Um, who who will get better on their own? It sounds like it, it sounds like um, yeah, uh, Hilda will get better on her own, but um, Rovik will not, and Aemon will not. So Hilda and Ingeborg. What are you doing now? This seems shitty. I, this is worse than a um, scar. I, because I assume I'm, I'm, I'm literally laying down next to a bleeding out scum. Yes. Uh. Sure. Great. Okay. So. I take my 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 totally fucked up shoulder, and rub the blood on my hand, and wipe it on Scum's face, and I'm like, I know you killed Grim. And I just like choke the life from his eyes with my other free hand. <laughs> yeah. And You're I don't even like I don't bitch. even like let him let him respond. I just choke the and then I stand up and I try to make my way to uh Rovik if I can. Okay. I'll yeah, go he's, for that if I need He's to. nearby. He's nearby. You're fine. Um like almost everybody else has scattered. The Gothi was like muttering prayers to the heavens at, you know, the disaster. Um Gurney Nightwolf is nowhere to be seen. I think the cow has like broken free of its tether and is just like <laughs> running around. Moo, moo. Oh my god! Um, Can I yeah. see my thing? <laughs> this is not like, what wanted. I want to be like. Uh, I just like stand there and I'm just like, surely, this has been enough of a sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um. <laughs> So yeah, what do you do when you reach Rovik? Like you're you're sort of holding your shoulder, but you've got it together now, Hilda. Like you wouldn't be able to fight, but you're you're gonna be okay. You're gonna you're gonna make it. Rovik, on the other hand, has been stabbed through the side with a sword. Okay. Um what's the what's the chaos like right now? Is everyone pretty like going crazy? It's it's starting to actually clear out. People are just kind of running in every direction. Like most of the people is, there is anyone are just paying attention? family members. Um not really. Like this was entirely unexpected. Everybody's pretty shocked at the the carnage that's just occurred. There's like what four people? I mean, there's like six people who are gravely injured or dead, right? There's Scum, the Bjorn, um, Coral, all dead, uh, and then the three of you who are gravely injured. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is not how a normal sacrifice would go. <laughs> just like it freaked out, just or even happen. a normal battle. Mm. Is it is it possible to get like is it possible to get Rovik's wife and get have her get him out of here? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Gunhilda. I I suppose she's probably like maybe even she like sort of tried to run in, but then like you two burst in and there was a a, a bout of furious combat, blood spraying everywhere. When that all calmed down, finally Gunhild comes running over to Rovik. She's stroking your face. Um, I, I imagine this is one of those like close-up shots. Your face is in incredibly pale. There's like yeah. a sheen of sweat across your brow. Your Robert breathing totally is very labored. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I I assume I still have my sword. Yeah, I, I lost my shield. No, which one do I have? I have one or the other. You have your sh you have your sword. Okay, so I I hand my sword to my sister, mm. and shout at her to get him out. Yeah, and just sort of tell her to like carry him away and get him out of here. Yeah, okay. She um, she beckons for um, for uh, Rolf. 
the twelve year old son uh, to help her carry his his father away from the pitch. Uh, he comes up and starts. Um, you know, they like your son grabs your feet and your wife grabs your uh, your shoulders and they start carrying you off away uh, in the direction of the longhouse. Um, so it's it's basically now it's really just you and Eamon, Hilda. Uh, I I go over to him and I assume he's. So his wound is really totally messed up. Like, yeah, I mean, like, my lung is hanging out of me. You, you caught you caught a sword. I'm straight beyond to the messed ribs. up. Yeah, you All caught right. a sword straight to the ribs. It cut straight into you. So, uh, um, can I shout to the old Seath Kona and be like, "Hey, like help!" Right? Because she's just sitting there being an old lady. Yeah, she's she's just <laughs> standing there like. What does it look like when we see you, offer. Inge Bjorg? Are you like this? No, I'm not like that. I'm like, I can offer my medical assistance if anyone needs it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I have herbs and remedies back home. Yeah. She does have a thing for me. That's true. That's yep. true. Absolutely. So, so I, shout, I shout for her to help. Wait, Inge Bjorg I know does? what's going on. I know what's going on. Yeah, See? It gives you I, it gives you <laughs> what, I'm super what meta-gaming. What did this in. happen? I don't remember it was like the, the beginning. It's like the it's, it's in his bonds. Wanted Eamon's pee pee. Like what? It's in his bonds. She she's <laughs> always had a soft spot for Eamon. Now I do have uh, okay. four bonds with Eamon. This this time actually Ingebjorg changed that bond to I have a soft spot for Olaf. That is true. Oh, oh so, did he? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I didn't know that he changed it. I are, did that because I assumed Jesse was going to attack me, and that way Olaf could step in with his bond and fight for me. Ah, true, okay. True. Never mind then. Maybe he's, he's over me. So, yeah, like, um, Ingebjorg, are you offering your, uh, your services to help heal Eamon? I can try. Okay. Are, do either of you wonder <laughs> if Ingebjorg is being honest about this? No, I shout for help because I'm. I, I uh, don't know. I look at his body and I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, yeah, I, I can't do shit right now. So I'm probably not conscious enough to make like a decision of whether like someone is morally ethical at this point. Yeah, I'm you, just like kind trying of dying to unless you get help. My body at the right. at this moment. Yeah. Okay. And like, yeah. Uh, kind basically, of, like, Eamon... basically hitting myself right now because I. Promised Rovic I would take care of his kids, but then I went a little. You went, went a little cray cray. Went a little berserk, a little berserk <laughs> there. Huh? So Eamon is the beggar who can't be a chooser. Um, so yeah, Hilda, do you help Eamon make it back to Ingebjorg's hut? Um, yes. I'm gonna say okay. yes. Cool. Okay, um, Ingebjorg. You've got Eamon back at your hut. Um, what does it look like in there now that you've, you've sort of churned a section of it into a sick room or a, a care space for, for this gravely injured man? Uh, let's see. I've, got, I've cleaned off the table so that you can just place them on the, the table. Mm-hmm. And then I've got like uh, some, a bucket of water. Nice. And I got like some herbs and... Uh, just like bags of like herbs and medical remedy things I can use, and I have a, a bone knife. Mm. Crender's like, trust <laughs> me, I'm a doctor, and I'm just <laughs> I'm an old lady doctor. I can handle this. <laughs> gonna, I got he's it. gonna like turn me into Frankenstein. <laughs> okay. So like, do you have like a stick wrapped with a leather thong that Eamon is biting in his mouth as you perform like the surgeries and the remedies on him or what? Of course. Yes. Okay. You gotta yeah. have the stick with the thing on it. Good. So that yeah. They can just be like, ah. And uh, I also give him, uh, I give him a little like drink of like some, uh, what's it called? Anesthetic. Yeah. I guess it would be a. The milk <laughs> of the poppy. Yeah. Like a milk of the poppy thing. Yeah, uh, the, the milk of the puppy. <laughs> milk of the puppy. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm just I'm trying to trying to get the get everything back in. Yeah. Into the into the body. Okay. And nice. I don't know if it's gonna work. Mm. And I'm just like I'm trying though, and I'm like put it all in. I like stitching it back up with like some uh, I don't know what I like vine. I don't know. What do you use to stitch people? <laughs> like yeah, like you've probably got like cat gut that you use for, for sewing yeah, you up. Know? 
you know some cat gut some vine <laughs> cat uh, gut, you know <laughs> yeah and, uh, okay stitch stitch them back up and uh that's, that's all I, that's all i can do nice um hilda what are you doing while this is going on um i'm just holding him down and trying to help best i can with one arm that isn't you know the other arm's pretty messed up yeah but yeah so i'm just sort of holding him down and doing what he says i'm nurse hilda nurse hilda <laughs> very nice okay um is that kind of all that anybody wanted to see from the fallout of this disastrous can get, duel? Can I get one final roll? Four. Uh, after it's all said and done, I go back to find my shield because I'm a shield maiden. Yeah. And it's somewhere on that messed up battlefield. <laughs> totally. Uh, when I reach down to pick up the uh, shield, I assume there was a scuffle and people moving about and uh, the dirt was probably moved. Can Definitely. I get a roll to see if I notice one of the runes and or bones placed on that battlefield? Ooh. Hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's see what this that might be. This is not how be. I expected any of this to go at all. No, I, I actually thought that you this. would let me take your place in the battlefield. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that was my plan. <laughs> so, Jesse, I think that that's actually not a role you get to make. Because there's okay. no role to, like, search or whatever. I mm -hmm. think it's more like a role that Ingebjorg gets to make. She's tempting fate with casting this spell over this place. And when you go back, whether or not you notice is based on whether or not the outcome of her tempting fate. Can I ask you a question? I have one, I have one bond with fate or the gods, whatever that means. Can I use that against that role? Sure. Great. Yeah. Question, though. Uh, didn't didn't Ingebjorg already roll for this when she was placing them against the uh, the other dude, the Gotti? To um, not see it. I don't yeah. know if it's like specific for him or if there's like something else that has to happen. I figured that was like when she was doing the hiding against the Gothi. She was tempting fate from so now him this seeing, is and now it's another person. Oh, okay, like going okay. back intentionally, sort of like looking around the area, and it's a separate right because he just doesn't suspect or she Hilda doesn't doesn't trust Ingebjorg. Okay, yeah. Okay, so um, yes, so. And again, why why would a shield maiden forget their shield? I feel like they would have they would have brought it with them to the, the thing. You <laughs> go know? to hell, go to hell. I, mean, <laughs> I think I think saving a man. Hilda was so concerned with saving Eamon's life that she left her belongings behind. I'm getting um, your ass, Kendall. I'm getting your ass. <laughs> Roll to tempt fate plus your weird minus one. So I get plus one. Okay. Maggie, is your cat a Maine Coon? No. I mean, maybe. We don't know what he his dad like is. He's, yeah, he looks like a Maine Coon. We, we think that he might be half. I like It's him. just a, oh, like a Jesus. half tabby. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's crazy. such a huge role. What the hell, dude? So um, you go back to the area. And <laughs> Always is rolling sixes. What is yeah. this? And gods. you notice nothing unexplained right. in this area, Hilda. Okay. So you, you recover your Still shield. victory dancing. I swear to God, I'm going to find... One of these days, I'm going to just murder you, Crendor. I just yeah. need a reason. I just need an in-character reason to kill you. When I have it, so help me God. I'm going to go to your cottage, and I'm going to lock you in and burn it down. That's how this series ends. I'm going to lock you Jesse, in your old lady he cottage, probably and I'm going to burn it down. He probably pulls, doesn't like, matter. He's going to be old and like out in the wilderness. The fire. I, when I have an in-character reason, I'm coming for your ass. He's going to watch yourself. He's going to cast some spells and wiggle his fingers and, like, be safe in the burning hut. He's just going to sit there going, <laughs> as, the, as the fire spreads to the entire forest. Because then I'll make sure you burn with me and I'll be like, that's what I wanted all along. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's a good death for me. That's how my character <laughs> dies. I don't care. I will take you down, you old uh, hat. Like, I'm going to have to ask. Uh, I'm going to have to ask chat as well. Someone's going to need to go back and gif that and tweet it to me. I want to see some Crendor roof raising fucking <laughs> made up in this bitch. Okay. Nice. Yeah. That's we definitely nice. need a gif of that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> Is there anything else anybody wanted to do in the immediate aftermath of the fight? Steven, there's so many things I wanted to do, but my lung fell out of my body. That's just not the way it worked out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So, um, it is winter. 
It's been about six months or seven months now since the fateful evening or morning, I guess, when the farmstead of Gary Holm tore itself asunder. Yeah, we just skipped forward quite a bit. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, we should have named the place Ikea. Krender wouldn't have ruined it. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gunhild made an announcement about a week after the, uh, the battle that Rovik fought valiantly and uh, she really believed that he would make it for a while, but that the Norns decided that this was his day and that earlier this morning, Rovik passed in his sleep, you know, thanks be to the gods. Um, and Gunhild held a, a private funeral away from the home in the forests to the north. Um, since then, let's see, it's probably really been, um, it's actually Ref. Ref and Thora came back, um, and Ref has taken over uh, as sort of like the man in training, but also um, Gunhild has sort of taken over as um, a matriarch of sorts, is really starting to um, run run the, the, the homestead uh, a little bit on her own. Um, Like, uh, Eamon, your recovery was slow and painful, um, and your shield arm isn't quite what it used to be, but over time, your, your wound did, did heal up. Nice. Um, All right. you didn't, you didn't take a scar, uh, but you did eventually recover. Probably you've, you've only really been back on your feet for the last two months. Gotcha. So um, when I do the peck dance, I'll be good. No scar. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, exactly. You didn't. Yeah, you didn't well, get a scar from that <laughs> cut into your lung. So I'm a well-known like doctor now as well. PD. Yeah. Um, yeah. Your I think PD. it's 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 fair to assume that much of the remaining community does sort of look have a second look at uh, Ingeborg as a doctor. Um, like strange things have continued happening around Gariholm. It it seems like. You know, Rovik's death sort of appeased the spirits and the gods in in a small way, and and Scum's death, like the 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 bad blood that was in the area, has aged. Right? It's it's all lessened a little bit, but people still feel like there's a pall that hangs over Gary Holm. It's just a difficult area. Um, th nobody ever found out what happened to the sheep that went missing. Um, you know, trials have continued. Um, winter came and the granaries were fairly bare. So if Gary Holm had been as populist as it was before, people would surely have starved over the winter. So, you know, in a certain way of looking at it, it was actually pretty helpful that a couple of people died in the climactic clash on midsummer's morning. Um, do they, does the town have a name for it now? I, you tell me. Does the town have a name for it? I, I feel know. like they kind of would, right? I would, I would think so. Like Hilda or, or, or Eamon or Ingebjörg, what do you know of this event as being called? Do any of you have any idea of what people would call it? Like the whole thing that just happened? Yeah. Uh... I feel like people would avoid talking to me about it because they don't mm. want to bring it up. So I don't think I would maybe. Yeah, yeah. The, something sacrifice, the great sacrifice, the solemn sacrifice. What's chat mm. saying? I feel like it would be like the maybe broken chat. sacrifice. Midsummer mid sacrifice. The midsummer mass the sacrifice. massacre. The massacre of midsummer massacre. Of massacre. <laughs> I, I like I like the midsummer massacre. The massacre like of midsummer. That. That's that's good. Um, yeah, it was. It's it's definitely seared its way into no the collective consciousness of Gary Holm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what have you three been up to in the months since the the Midsummer Massacre? How about uh, how about you, Ingeborg? How have how have situations evolved in your involvement on the well, farm? Now that I am technically a witch doctor, I have been uh, helping people with their ailments. 
ailments and learning a bit more about the uh, herbalist and medical alchemy field. Yeah. And uh, I've been still predicting futures and people have been coming to see me. And uh, Olaf has been... Uh, He's just been working on his sword skills and he's been getting stronger and, you know, he's a bit older now and smarter. Yeah. And uh, Helga, would she still be, like, seeing that one guy? Um, Who was she seeing? It was Vibjorn was desiring Helga. That was uh, Steinar. Oh, yeah, Steinar. Steinar started liking her, too. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, Hmm. like, you know, um, I think... He probably stayed away for quite a while, recognizing sort of this oh, yeah. unmitigated <laughs> disaster that happened on his watch. But yeah, let's let's say he came back fairly recently, you know, knocking around your door, um, just you know, wanting to check in on how everybody was recovering. Um, oh, Helga! Oh, it's what a surprise to see you there. I didn't expect you to be here this time of day. Shall we go for a stroll? Like that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, do you have any I like that young man? Do you have any advice for your daughter, Helga? Uh, yeah, just tell her, uh, don't trust anyone except me. Hmm. And be wary of anyone because, uh, I referenced the, the, the Midsummer Massacre just happened. I'm like, just look at, you know, how trusting people were of each other and all those people that were friends and look how it turned out. So I'm like, just, just always be wary of anyone. Yeah. Um, are you trying to talk sense to your daughter? Yes. Roll plus versed. I lose my versed. No one. All right. Oh, man. I've been rolling too good for it to. <laughs> Save him. Uh, yeah, seven. So you get to hold one and, and give her advice. So, like, what's your specific advice about. about um, about Steinar, is it you know don't trust anyone? Uh, yeah, I just say don't trust anyone. Like mm. kind of making it to him, like like tell it, yeah, just like kind of what would it be? Like I'm saying it generally, but I'm kind of like yeah. pointing it the, towards the, it. the situation implies when you say yeah. anyone, you mean Steinar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she actually she sort of pauses before heading out the door, and then she says. Um, hold on a minute, Steinar. Uh, and she runs back to you. She says, Mother, do you have, do you have an extra coat? I worry about being too shapely around Steinar. Uh. How old is this Steinar guy, by the way? <laughs> he's probably like 40. Yeah, he's old. Okay, so he's a creeper. All right. Yeah, he's, he's well, kind of a creeper. That's why I well, thought it was creeper. funny when Ing, Ing was like, I like that young fellow. <laughs> yeah. He is a young fellow in my eyes. Yeah. Uh, and so the ripe old like, age of yeah, forty. Yeah. So I go <laughs> and I get like a a coat type thing and I put some magic on it. I I'm like I do some spell stuff to it and I give it like a, a blessing of protection, like the paladins. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. It glows with a glowing bubble around it. Yes, in your mind. Yeah. And and she begins <laughs> using her hearthstone. Mm-hmm. Um, good. <laughs> yeah, um, she, she takes your cloak and she heads out for a stroll, but she's very clearly staying pretty standoffish from Steinar. Um, mm. Cool, so you get to mark your bond with Helga, or your relationship with Helga. Um, and um, Hilda, what have you been up to in the last six months? Well, so I, I do have a question. <clears throat> Did... We've been tally like when do we tally the check marks in order to like level up or however you do in this game? If you if you take four, you can just take an advancement. Okay. Um. Did I gain nothing for helping? Because I have two of my people are Gunhild and Ravik. Did yeah. I gain nothing for helping them at the end there? Uh, Rovik was already checked. You checked Thora and Rovik. Um, didn't you use a move against scum? Was that like your physical challenge? Mm-hmm. So you marked yeah. that. Yep, absolutely. 
Um, and you used a move against Gunhild when you were uh, having that heart to heart with her. And you, yeah, that's all, that's why I'm asking because I should have four if that's the case. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Because you dinged. Right? So how do so what do you do when you ding? I don't know what to do. <laughs> so take a look at uh, the Shield Maiden's character Advancements, sheet. Advancements, right? Yeah. Wait. So, so I have I have three. Pick a new move from your role, and then. To pick a new move from another female role. Yeah, so you can choose a new move. From and then you just the scratch maiden. it off the list. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you can't, like, you can only take a new move from the Shield Maiden three times. You can only take a new move from another female role two times. Gotcha. So. All right, I'm going to pick a new move from my thing, and I'm going to do Full of Life, increase young by one point. Nice. So your young is now what? Is it three now? Yeah, plus three. Nice. Yeah. So what was like, it you, that, like, I level up then? Was that I needed four bonds with, like, four people? Well, you need, you need to use a move on four different characters that you have a relationship with. So for you, that's, uh, that's Rovik, Hilda, Helga, and uh, the fourth one for you was actually Eamon. So now you have done four. So you get to level up as well, Ingebjorg. All right. Yeah. Nice. What all about right. um, Eamon? Eamon, you, you, you fought alongside Hilda. Um, you, like, Rovik granted you a roof, so you had those two checked. Yeah. Um, you want to fight alongside Ref now, but I don't think you have a check with Ref. Did you use a move at, on him on the last session? I thought I did, but I don't remember. Yeah, well, I don't remember, so I'm not. I'm not gonna say I did. Uh, whenever then, we, whenever we were at his place. Yeah. Well, what was your previous thing with him? Because you changed what it was. I it was that you didn't trust him. Yeah. For the weapon. Because I th okay yeah I was chat somebody who's actually watched the vods might have to confirm. Yeah. But I chat thought did, you did something with Ref that like. Did Eamon use a move on Ref at the end of last episode? I think he might have, but I don't know entirely. Um, and I then had the fourth it marked, one, but I don't. I don't want. The say fourth it. one was with Ingrid, and I don't think you've actually used a move on Ingrid yet. Uh, did you never look into her heart about the silver? I, I don't. He did. I don't remember. I marked. No, because so you, you. I don't know if I did. You did you mark your relationship with Ingrid? Yeah, but I don't remember what it was, so I don't want to like claim. But well, I did on it, my sheet, so I don't. But I don't know. Like I don't. If you that. if you wrote it down, then yes, um, let's do it. Oh, uh, man, I know what I want. You insulted oh, his God. manhood. You insulted Ref's manhood. So yeah. Um, Whenever I think you, he was at. Yeah, before. Eamon insulted Ref. Yeah, so you you did mark Ref. So you actually get to level up as well. Okay. I have picked my ability, Senor. What Steve. is it? Curses and poison. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, Krendor. <laughs> so, curses and poison. When someone tries to hurt or harm you in some way, roll plus weird. On a 10 plus, you get both. On a 7 to 9, pick one. Either they are tempting fate as they do so, or when they next endure grave harm, they cannot pick the option that it will get better by itself. <laughs> damn. <laughs> That's a hell of a yourself. Thing. Gotta protect yourself. Hard, hard world out there. So, Eamon, as the Huskarl, your advancements are you have four opportunities to pick new moves from the Huskarl and one opportunity to pick a new move from another male role. Yeah, I'm looking right now. Someone's asking if Rovik dinged in Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> Rovik dinged last time, so <laughs> I, think, I don't think he was anywhere close to getting four no, new not checks. At all. I don't think I had any extra bond thingies. Yeah. Uh, uh, Steven, I'm just going to message you something because I... Yeah, I'm just going to message you something. Okay. And Maggie, you're looking at advancements for the who's Yeah, cool. yeah. Cool. Neat. Confidant is pretty cool. 
I just looked over my relationships. Nearly every one of my relationships list is dead. <laughs> Next episode, I'm going to repick a whole lot of people. <laughs> Can you only have four bonds at a time, or? Um, I think somehow you are able to gain another bond, actually. Um, let me see about that. So I have I a lot of stuff, like says. belligerent is when you join a fight, invite or no, take a bond with someone present if you both survive. Um, like confidant is interesting, because I can erase a bond or gain one. Or make them do what I want. Yeah, let's see. Ah, when your character survives a winter in Iceland, you can add one of the following options to their advancement list. Gain an additional relationship, change your character's role, create a new character to play, or retire this character from play. So if you survive and then you advance again, then you could choose to gain a new relationship, and that would bring your total up to five instead of four. So what, so what happens if I have Confidant and I gain a bond with someone else. Oh, so there's a difference between bonds and relationships. Relationships are the things that you can act on in order to gain XP. Bonds are like currency that you can spend in order to look into people's hearts or in order to help them or hinder them. And we've kind of been accidentally using the terms interchangeably, and that's my fault. Gotcha. Sorry. Okay. It's because... Bond in this game is a currency, whereas bond in Dungeon World is what relationships in this game are. So right. it's like, ah. Yes. Okay, that clears things up drastically. Cool. We need to change our relationships then, like since Rovik's dead, so I have to... Not till next game, I don't think. Next yeah, we'll, we'll do that session. at the start of the next okay. session. Oh, okay. Um, I know it hasn't been quite the full length of time, but why don't we take a short break here. Um, we'll talk about some stuff off screen and then we'll come back and see what happens in the final hour here today of roleplay Sagas of the Icelanders. So don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. <laughs> 